17 years old, you catch a murder. Like back then, though, like juvenile laws was a lot more lenient, right, towards yes, juvenile right. at that time. But at that particular time, in the 70s, uh, young guys, you know, they were going to jail a lot. Yeah. But at that particular time, the Earl Flynn's and the BK, uh, Earl Flynn's and the BK's came out. So young guys, they, they were the first ones that young guys start getting a whole, get a whole lot of time in prison. Mm. They get like 20 years, Damn. Earl Flynn's and BK's, right? But we were still, that's on the east side. So at, at that time, when I got when I got for sentencing, my my lawyer tell the judge, my my uh, Mr. Chestnut, he don't have nothing to do with no no gang banging shit. So I got a low sentence. I got a uh, five and a half to sixteenth. I got found guilty of uh, second degree murder. So I you, went to trial for first degree. Okay. But then I, they found me guilty of second. So you you go to juvenile, right? No, you uh, go to prison. I go to prison. Prison, prison. What what was that like? Take me your 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 first day in prison. What was so that? The, the first, the very, very first day, and it just in the county jail. Okay. Right? I'm in the county. Now, I'm 17, no hair on my face, nice little hair. I'm like, you know what? I'm a Dexter motherfucker. I'm like Bush Jones. I'm like Raymond People. And I'm a gangster like them. If my motherfucker fuck with me, I'm gonna kill them. I'm in here for murder, like I'm in here for murder anyway. Motherfucker fuck with me, I'm gonna kill them. So I'm having my mind, if a big motherfucker fuck with me, I already know, I'm like, I'm psyching myself, I'm, I'm like Bush Jones, I'm Raymond People, I'm like, I'm like blocking all them, I'm a gangster like them, I'm from Dexas, so I'm built, I'm not even worried. Yeah. So I never had no, I never had no, pub, no problems in the county jail, but when I got to prison, I had problems from day one. Mm -hmm. First day, can you imagine, first day in prison, a motherfucker want to kill you, and the reason my man want to do something, his name with EC, because back in the days, like I said, remember I was talking about Walter Hicks? Yeah. And Kite, he used to bully me all the time. So when I started hanging out with Raymond and all of them, I, st I got I, all the ones who bullied me, I got them all back. Mm. So we started beefing. That's like one of the first beef I had. So we shooting each back and forth, back and forth. But anyway, before I got locked up, me and his brother, um, Walter, we had squashed it. We forget about cool, but EC don't know that he the older brother. So when I go to prison, he waiting for me to, uh, he waiting for me to come there to kill me. Damn. You know. So the first day, the first day I got there, it was at MR, Michigan Reformatory, you know. The first day I got there, I, I see my homeboy named Punky. He said, no, you know, east has been waiting on you. I said, wait, waiting on me for what? Yeah, because you stabbed his brother. I said, man, I'm, I'm in the county jail fighting a murder because I ain't thinking about no shit like that. No prison life. But anyway, I got there. So this, that, that night, I see EC. Back then, back then they had uh, boxing back then yeah. in the auditorium. You know, back then, boxing in prison. So we watched some boxing. He come, his crew came in. They came in. Yeah, little Reggie stabbed me like he stabbed my brother. I said, first of all, I'm not little Reggie. My name is Nut. He like, you gonna be little Reggie me all your life? He said, don't you know how you stabbed and killed and raped in here? I said, you like, I'm how you kill me and rape me in this motherfucker? What think I'm gonna do? He said, well, you see on the on, on tomorrow on the tomorrow morning, y'all. So I was scared like a motherfucker. <laughs> first, this is first day, first day in prison. A motherfucker wanna kill you, dog? First day? I said, okay. So the next day, right, going to y'all. But Punky never left me. He never left me. So we go to y'all. They surrounded me and Punky. Like they wanted, you know, they trying to swing on us. So I, I, I get smart. I am, I'm a thinking man. I said, yeah, EC, you might have me killed in here. You might have me killed in this motherfucker. But what you think Raymond going to do or a black going to do when they find out you had me killed in here? What you think What you think they going to do? You know, you can show them from the east side guys all you want to, all these motherfuckers you want to. But what you think Raymond people gonna do and Black gonna do if they find out you had me killed in here? I guarantee they gonna blow your mama house up. You take my people? I said, no, nah, but you know how they feel about me. So he's like, man, fuck him, man, fuck that little skinny motherfucker. So they ain't do nothing, right? So round about, about four days later, Bla um, Black, Raymond, Chuck, Bomb, all of them came and visited me. And at, at, this, at this area of town, we famous all in the newspaper. Yeah. We all in the news, young boys. So when they came and visited me, especially Raymond people. When they came visit me, that blow my whole, that blow my visit up. It, oh man, them young boys come see that new guy. So when the so, so word got out on the yard, they come see me. I got, I'm having a problem in prison now. So East was like, you telling me anything? I said, I ain't telling nothing. You didn't do nothing. That's how me him got back cool. Got you. 